There he is. It's Balto. And what is he doing? What is he seeing? We're going to talk about Mr. Balto. Today is June 12, 2019, and it's about 10 a.m. here in our backyard, in everyone's backyards in the state of Washington. Yes. And Balto is going to survive another hot day, aren't you, baby? So, this is a little Balto story that we here are concerned about. Balto's doing fine. But for over a month now, someone has learned that if they walk their dog, yeah, you're, you're a fur baby. Balto fur baby. If they walk their dog, I'm going to show you to the back area of our property where we have new fencing from the tree that fell. And which is perfectly fine with that open area back there for anybody to walk out there. It's not real nice to walk out there and walk their dog or walk whoever they want to walk. And it's okay for them, perfectly fine, for their dog to poop out there. But for a month plus, a certain dog shows up growling and tries to come through our fence. And while, right over here, and while that dog is there, Balto doesn't start growling. He just starts digging at the fence and trying to jump up and get over and he goes and he goes and it makes him quite excited because he thinks he's got a playmate now yesterday evening he went into the fence so much and I don't know if I can capture this on video or not but there is red blood on the fence and I don't think I got it and he's running this is the area oh he's going to the other side and we got new fence going up way over there. We got a lot of fence. Anyway, we checked him out. Couldn't find any actual blood right on him. Could have been a little nail or something got pulled. But this part where this doggy shows up, which is a yellow something lab, I don't know that this has become a problem because it happens about every day sometime around after 5 p.m. and it gets Balto quite excited and one of the times I saw the young man maybe 30s 40s hard to say everybody's younger than me uh, with a little girl and when he was walking away after bringing his dog up so close when there's so much area out there there's no need to come to our back area he put his little girl up on his shoulders and he turned and he looked back from over that way way over there which you can't see because our neighbors are putting up a nice tall fence which is good but I could see it when I moved over this way and he looked back and he smiled and he did like a chuckle like ha ha I don't find it funny now yesterday it was just the little girl and she kept bringing the dog all the way from I'm not good at saying how much how far away but there's houses way along over on the other side that their backyards encompass this massive area that was supposed to be built into a park or something for an HOA which never happened it's okay with us <laughs> we don't want to pay HOA dues homeowners association dues anyway the little girl and hello Balto did you come to talk this little girl came not once but twice bringing her dog up here and this concerns us. Um, Balto's just fine. But these times rile him up and he doesn't need that. And we don't need our fence broken from the other side. 
And so I figured, well, I think I know the house. So my daughter went with me. Oops, give him some privacy. And we drove around. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do something cute. So we drove around. And I thought I had the house. And my daughter sat in the car, which I said, you must stay in the car. Because if your mom gets shot by these people, <laughs> you get your camera rolling. And anyway, the house I went to, people were really nice. They had a dog there staying with them. They no longer have that dog staying there with them. So I figured it was the house next door, which they're pretty sure those people have a dog and a little girl. And I knocked on that door and there was no answer. So this video right now is just record that Balto is in good shape. Our fence looks fine. And if anything happens to him, the people that are doing this, I just won't sit back. I will not. You don't hurt my husband, you don't hurt my kids, and you don't hurt my little baby Balto. Because he is just full of love. So, there we go. Have a great day, and maybe Balto will get to running here. I don't know. He's moving slow, but he's starting to move. Not that he's been hurt or injured. It's just it's a little too muggy and hot out here for him. And he's got ice cubes in all his waters. Ice cubes outside, ice cubes in the kitchen, ice cubes in the living room. Love you, Balto.